Hey everybody, this is a 90 second video on how to best use our maps. First thing you'll notice, right hand side control panel. Plus minus arrows, zoom in, zoom out. Bottom right hand corner, species filtering. Click on them, each one represents a different species. They disappear, click them again, they reappear. This way, make the map look a little cleaner. You can hover over each individual dot is an actual real life GPS duck. Hover over it, click it again. Let's check out some shovelers. Click on a duck. This will give you the movement of that duck. One data point an hour, each dot is a movement. You get one an hour. Profile over here on the right, you can play with all of that. Anytime you wanna go back, home button, top left hand corner. Over here on the right hand side, filtering options, temperature, wind speed, different map layers. Play with that. Here we go, we'll have an example here of our windy weather layers. Maybe you get tired of that. Now we're going to go to the historical tracking map. Up here, top left-hand corner, historical tracking. Click it. It'll open a new tab. Mobile users, this will appear as more on the top right-hand corner. This map has no data zoom-in restriction. It is on a 60-day delay. This is for the safety of the birds so that they cannot be hunted. With this map layer though, the historic tracking map, you can zoom in all the way to where the duck was and see foraging sites, nesting patterns, loafing behaviors, winter and summer grounds, and much, much more. This is one of the coolest, most interactive features in the map, something you will not see anywhere else in the world.